in the name of God, the All-Compassionate, the All-Merciful. In this video, I want to um, talk about G-Code and even series. Uh, what is the application of them? Uh, for the first of all, uh, what is G-Code? Um, G-Code is a programming language that tells the machine what to do. Um, this machine can be a 3D printer or CNC or other machine that needs uh, to put them a command for the movement of their uh, their part. So uh, in this video, I'm going to explain you about the G-Code that is used in 3D printer, especially FVM 3D printing. Uh, what uh, for the next next question? What is the actions that can be um, um, assigned in G code? These actions for three D printing can be uh, include poses, extruder temperature, uh, the printer head speed, bed temperature, and where the pr uh, printer head goes. These actions are uh, actually the printing related to the printing process. Uh, the next question is how do we make a G-code for a 3D printer? Uh, there are uh, some steps that we should do. Uh, first of all, we should create a 3D model. It can be done by uh, some graphical software like SolidWorks, AutoCAD, or Rhino. And uh, it depends on your interest. But uh, if your software can create a 3D model, it is enough. For the next step, you should export the 3D model into a still format file. A still format file can be opened in uh, some slicer software, like Simplify 3D. And uh, next, you should open it on the slicer software. I applied uh, to a Simplify 3D for my uh, job. Um, and um, we can use replicator, replicator G code or other things, but I uh, prefer to use this software. And then next, you should set the printing parameters uh, on this uh, slicer software, uh, like the printing speed, the nozzle temperature, heat bed temperature, or the um, Anything that is related to your process, if there is any limitation, even you can uh, set the extruder with layer height or other things that uh, you need to arrange by yourself. After that, you should export um, the model, the G code from this um, model, the still formatted file, by uh, Simplify 3D or other softwares that I've mentioned. After you export uh, the G code, you can see the pattern like this slide that I uh, bring uh, here. Uh, you can see some letters as well as numbers, and each of uh, them having a specific meaning. And I'm going to explain um, here in this slide. Uh, you can see M uh, 107. M um, refer to fan speed setting. And uh, in each line in here and here, you should uh, you can see G and G0 or G1. G0 refers to nozzle um, state. Uh, zero uh, shows there isn't any uh, deposition or extrusion or anything, any printing uh, uh, happen. There isn't any happening. And uh, one shows uh, there is a printing. And um, you can see here F. Uh, and 9000. F shows the um, nozzle travel speed. Um, for example, in this part, we can uh, say that uh, G0 F9000 shows that at, this, at the time that nozzle uh, moves and there isn't any printing, the speed is 9000 uh, millimeter per minute. And you can see other uh, parameters as well, uh, other letters and numbers you can see x uh, and y uh, and there is their numbers after them and uh, x uh, for example here x 52.23.5 and uh, y 55.8 shows that uh, at the time that is uh, there isn't any extrusion the location of the nozzle is that 
and uh, you can also see here uh, in each line you can see g x y and e e shows the timing uh, at the time of 0 0.2 the location is like that and the state of the nozzle is g1 uh, but the important question is uh, where is the z location uh, there isn't any z location in these lines uh, i can answer that uh, here uh, is the z um, 0 0.3 refers to all the lines that are um, repeated after it. They have the same uh, elevation uh, that is uh, brought here. But uh, the important uh, point is um, what is the event series and why uh, it is important to convert G code to event series. Even series uh, can be used to define fields that vary in both time and space. In this G code, uh, you can see that as the uh, time changes, the location uh, changes too. And um, we can say that uh, in this state, we should convert even series, uh, convert G code to even series. Actually, uh, in the application of Abacus, uh, it can be uh, useful to know it. Um, they work the event series work in combination with a library of utility routines that can be invoked from two user subroutines umd flux and uep activation well these uh, subroutines used for uh, simulating 3d printing process actually um, recently there is a plugin that uh, simulated without any utility routine you can it is so um, easy to simulate the 3D printing process and named um, AM Modeler plugin. Actually, uh, some uh, uh, an important note is that the field described with the event series is a piecewise defined function. There is a path in 3D state, space. Here, uh, there is an example of uh, event series. You can see that. In each line, there is um, four numbers. There are four numbers. First numbers uh, refer to the time, uh, and the second, third, and fourth are about x, y, and z location at the specific time that is put before them. And the, uh, the final number refers to the material or power state. It is important to say that um, it depends on your printing process. If your process is energy-based, you should uh, put the power if there is a printing. And uh, if there isn't, you should put zero. And for the extrusion-based uh, 3D printing like uh, FDM, uh, you should put one if there is, there is an extrusion and zero if there isn't. Uh, but the important question is, how do we convert a G code to an event series, the format that is required for Abacus to read and understand our uh, command? To answer it, I uh, want to uh, create a next video and uh, explain it for you. Uh, if you're interested uh, to this tutorial, I will be glad to like it and also subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you very much.